Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here with my cash stuffing envelopes that I created in Cricut Design Space. Here's three of them, right? So that it matches my book. Each page will have its own matching cash stuffing envelope. And in this video, I'm gonna show you my process. So this is where I'm at right now. And here is how I created it in Cricut. Now that you saw that, let's get into how I use the laminator to create these envelopes. Now, let me just tell you, this is an A6 um, binder for cash stuffing. These here were created and they are six and a half by seven and a half. So, Obviously, I took the image and I rotated it 90 degrees. So then I'm going to fold this over just like that, right? I'm going to fold that over and I'm just going to crease it down. And I'm going to do that for each one of these. my laminator heating up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it sideways I'm going to open up my back and this way it's ready to go so let's look at them real cute quick how cute they are right so you see how they are I made them so that they're folded in half and that when they get into the laminator they will be um, um, envelopes so three go to a, a laminator pouch and I really should make one more that says something um, this way I don't lose out on prime real estate inside that laminating sheet so let's 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 make something new and just like that I just got a new envelope I forget to put three into a laminating sheet and this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna bring this here in so that you have a visual how I line things up. All right, so I'm gonna put this in at the top so that everything lines up squared. I open up the sheet just like that. Now I'm gonna just move this out of my way just a little bit more for this part. I'm gonna grab three of these. Two are gonna go in right at the top okay this top one we're not worried about because we're gonna cut that open so that we have an envelope right so now this here bottom one let me 
let me explain. Hold on. We're going we're gonna to keep this in real time. We're going to keep this in real time. All right, so when we open up this envelope, we're going to put this here, probably about the five mark, uh, actually a little bit more. So what we're going to do is, you see how I'm lining this up? And I'm going to bring this up to the top, keeping it so that this part will get cut off, and this part right here on this top line will be cut off. And this will have probably a half an inch to punch the holes in the laminating sheet. Same thing at the bottom. And because I'm using this, I'm just trying to line it up so that I'm kind of even. And honestly, I can, I can, we're good. All right, so here's the next one. Remember, we're going to be cutting open the top of this one. So we just need to make sure we have enough room over here. And of course, at the top, just a little. And then I use the lines just so that I can stay center. All right, I'm going to bring this up to you so that you can have a visual. See where I did that? Now, this is my new laminator because my old one had a recoil in it. I kind of like my old one better because it literally, I lifted it up and I put it in. This one I have to lift all the way up and put it in. So there's always room for movement. So just got to be a little bit careful. See what I mean? Not in love with this. Not, not, not in love with this. So not in love with this. So I'm going to hold this one here. This is making me nuts. And then we're going to put it in. Holding this one here as, as best I can so that it doesn't slide down. I'm probably going to run this through the laminator twice. If you have this laminator, let me know. I'll, I'll put the little number in right here not loving it. All right, keeping this in real time so that we, and I know it's just picked up that, so I'm good with it. Keeping it in real time so that you guys can see. And like I said, I'm gonna run it twice. Only so that I know that we heat it up really well. All right, so here we go for the second run. And it fell down again. Yeah, not loving that. All right, we're gonna be in real time. So with being in real time, we're gonna grab our paper cutter. And this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab the ones that I already done I'm going to grab one of them. I'm going to tell you what the finished product dimension was. We're going to we're going to strive to get it as close as possible to that number. All right. Let's move this out of the way cuz we are going to use it again. Look at how perfect that came out. So perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one first. We're going to cut that one first. Remember, I've got to leave enough space from here over half an inch. So let's see where we get. So half an inch, and I can see that on my scoreboard. And I think that would be pretty good to have. Let's say half an inch. I'm going to line this one. So I'm going to take this here line and I'm going to put that at the half inch line right here. Let's get focused again. There we go. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to line that up with the half inch. Right there, I'm going to line it up. Half inch. Okay. And then, um, but this one probably only left 
I did a quarter of an inch on each side. So I'm going to take that lined paper right there, right? And I'm going to um, line my paper up at the quarter of an inch spot. And that's going to give me plenty of space so that it does not come open. And then I'm going to trim the top right at that, that paper line so that I, I can then open that. And you hear that? It cut the paper. And just like that, we have an opening for an envelope. All right, let me finish these. Um, so we're gonna start with this one, okay? Because remember, this is gonna be our bottom. We don't need this. So it's gonna make sure we have enough real estate for this. So we're gonna cut that off so that we are perfect. Let's see, did it work? It worked. Okay. And remember, we're going to leave a quarter of an inch on each side as best we can. Right there. And this side might not have a quarter of an inch. So actually, I'm okay. And we're going to, we're going to leave this and look at how um, they line up. So we're going to cut the top off of the next one which is Tinkerbell. Just square that off. She opened up and we're sh we should be great. So these are the three that we just made. And my sizes are just off a tad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line them up at the half inch mark half inch mark together and I'm going to trim them and now all of my envelopes will be the same size see that the one that was done and then the three we just did now let's move on to the next thing that we do so they this is an a6 binder right this is an a6 binder so we have six binder clips. I was thinking, I, I was on Amazon, and I'm trying not to spend money to, um, to make, to save money. I'm trying not to spend money to save money. So yeah, I did buy the binder. It did come with those original envelopes, but I wanted to make my own envelopes. So then I'm like, oh, how am I going to punch the holes in these, right? I'm like, hmm, I have a regular binder, I have my cinch, I have, I have things, but they're not going to work with this. Well, I went into my stash, and then I realized that I have the planner punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. Now, for some reason, A6 is not on here. So what I did was, since these are removable, right, they give you five, I don't know why they wouldn't give you six, but they give you five. I took, I just had one out. I took, I took mine, right? Because I had it and I lined it up, marked it. And then I realized where my punches would go. So these are now set for my A6. So I am going to put that in, I'm going to punch, right, and I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to rotate it. So if you have this punch, this will be great. And you know what, if you don't, I will link this in Amazon in the description box below. And look at that. Can you see that? There's our holes. So let me do that for the next two. punch, rotate, and punch again. And I have my six holes. There they are. Okay. So now we have the last one that we just did.
rotate again. Ah, okay, so I am going to put them in order when I'm finished with the way the book is run. So let's continue and let me finish these and I'll come back. Okay, so I just got done. Let's save for birthdays. Let's save. They came out super, super amazing. And I am so in love, not only with this savings challenge, but this crafting that went with it. For me, if you follow me, I'm a very creative person. I was, I got into a funk, but now this year has sparked everything inside me. It's amazing. All right, so let's get my book. Let's get my book. which is right here, right? And let's go through this. I love the fact that I've used something that was in my stash that I've never used before. I'm just like over the moon, over the moon. So the first savings challenge would be, I'm gonna take them all out. We're gonna put them in order. First savings challenge is the $1 challenge. which is this one right here. So after the $1, obviously we have the $2 challenge, which is right here. Okay, so the two. And then we have five, which is Donald. And then we went to 10, which is the goof right there. There's the goof. Then we have, let's save Disney scratch off, which is that one. I'm not kidding you. This has made me the happiest girl. Now, if I could just fill these, it would make me even happier. So then we got the Scrooge, right? We got the flower Mickey and Minnie scratch-offs. I had a blast making the scratch-offs. Blast. Um, Tinkerbell. That one should be Monopoly. Right there. And then last one is the let's save. And the next video is gonna show you my next one because I did not have a page for the birthdays. So let's see what I come up with for the birthdays. But this is the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helped you if you have a cricket or, you know, just inspired you. Oh. I left punches out of this one. That happens, right? That happens. Yeah, let me know what you thought of all these. Because these, I, I'm looking forward to 2023. Ow, got my finger. Ah! All right, everybody, let's, let's flip through them real quick. Ready? Save a dollar. Save two dollars. Save five, ten, the scratch offs, the Mickey, the Scrooge, another scratch off, a roll the dice, a Monopoly, a 23 in 23, and then birthdays. Now you're probably asking yourself real quick, what what was the point of all these? I thought that I was gonna put tabs on each one. I really did. I thought I was going to put tabs on them. Um, I still might. I don't know. See, each, let's see if I can do this. Each page had its own individual tab that I created. I'll bring it up to you this way. See how cute they are? And I was going to make tabs. So let's see what happens after I make that birthday page. Keep watching. You never know. There might be another video coming out. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you all real soon. Bye.